Here on Front Street, the Portland Housing Authority is redeveloping this area into more than 100 passive housing units. Passive housing is an airtight home well insulated so it maintains a comfortable internal temperature year round without the need for a furnace. One thing you'll notice is the walls are thicker than a typical um, two by six construction wall. We have uh, continuous insulation around the whole outside of the building. Apartments will range from studios to five bedrooms that'll go for $977 a month to $2,100 a month. Zagal Construction is the project contractor and Utile is the passive house consultant. Jay Waterman with the Portland Housing Authority says the passive housing build is a 3% increased cost up front, but is offset by low monthly energy costs. Heating costs are 80 to 90% less than a typical code building. If you see right here, we have a, about a two foot strip of electric baseboard. Waterman says that these affordable housing units will help rent burdened Mainers avoid having to pay extremely high utility bills. Our reward is having a very energy efficient building and knowing that we're reducing our carbon footprint. You are minimizing the demand of energy that you're placing, not only you know, on your own pocket, but on society as a whole. So here's your exhaust. Christy Hissong with Proper Modern Home Construction Company is also the owner of a passive home going up in Kennebunk. During the cold snap in February, with wind chills in the negative 30s, Hisong's home maintained an internal temperature of 46 degrees. Even with the home being incomplete and unheated. Hisong says passive homes keep the outside out and the inside in, unlike many older homes where heat escapes through the cracks. So these houses have an ERV system, which is an energy recovery ventilation system, which takes some of the stale air out of the, out of the home and introduces fresh filtered air that passes over an uh, air exchanger. And so these are, air exchangers are designed to basically preheat the air that's coming in. We're creating less demand from the grid um, or less fossil fuel usage. Reporting for Maine's Total Coverage, I'm Talia Clark.